Hello, and welcome to my happy little bubble. So this morning I thought we would have a look at um, my tomatoes which for the first time ever I've grew from seed and I'm really happy with them. Um, during the time of obviously the COVID-19 pandemic, um, very early on couldn't get any compost, couldn't get any grow bags either. So I didn't really want to go without me tomatoes this year so we had a look, we saw what was in the garden already. I had three terracotta pots which were of decent size which were obviously ideal because they can breathe and I had some plastic pots and I've grown a mixture of um, sun gold which is a little yellow cherry tomato and a beef tomato which I've never done before um, and I can honestly say so far they are looking bigger and healthier than they would have done in the grow bags however I do think that's because of all the hot weather we've been having um, so let's have a closer look So this is one of the sun gold variety um, and as you can see we've got quite a few trusses on already um, no fruit as of yet that's set um, and what's really important with your tomatoes is as you're growing if you're staking them you tie them in and you'll see if I come in just here where I've snipped out and just pulled out any side shoots because these side shoots basically send out another growing stem and that takes all your energy away from your top and it takes all your energy away from producing our fruit. Um, if I move to the next one, which is also in a terracotta pot, this is one of the beef tomatoes, and we can see we've got one already that's set. So I've started feeding this one with a liquid feed. Um, but what's also really useful is you can use nettles um, and comfrey, if you have it in your garden, and basically just dump that into a bucket of water and leave it for three weeks. Doesn't smell very nice, um, but then you can use that as an organic feed if you're not too keen on using um, some of the fertilizers or things that you can buy in the shops. Um, once these reach to the top of my canes which are here I will snip out the growing tip and that will stop any more growth and it will then focus all of its energy on producing more tomatoes. So um, let's have a little look around this is one that's in a plastic pot and this seems to be doing okay as well. Not quite as high, but still looking as healthy. Um, and I don't think we have any side shoots. Oh, we do. There we go. If we look here, if I take the camera right down and move this leaf, if you can see this one coming up from the bottom, and if I can just move that leaf so the sun comes on it, that looks, if you can see, very different to the leaves that are here. And it's this one that needs to be taken out. So if I just get right in at the bottom and remove that, that's what that looks like and it looks very similar to what's going on at the top and if I left this this would then focus the plants energy into growing essentially another plant off the side so we don't want that so that can go in for our chickens to have a peck at and whilst we're here we'll have a look at some of the others and we're looking okay so we'll check back later in the year with the tomatoes and we'll see um, how they get on. Okay, because obviously the proof will be in the tasting. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos on gardening, food, and just lovely happy little things inside my happy little bubble. Please subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.